out on the middle fork of the Snoqualmie River again. It's a beautiful fall day. A little bit hazy today, but I think that'll burn off. I'm out for a little bit of a hike, checking out these small trails around the middle fork of the Snoqualmie. Looking at the fall colors, getting a little exercise, and looking for a scene to paint. It's a beautiful area. Lots of little trails. There's some steep hikes as well, up to some mountain tops. I haven't explored much here. I lived in North Bend for a little while, while working in Seattle. Got out on the weekends. I went skiing quite a bit up at Snoqualmie Summit and did a little bit of hiking. But I'm having, I'm having fun exploring this area along Snoqualmie River. Look at that crystal clear water. I hope you can see that in the video. It's just lovely, so crystal clear. Looks so clean and pure. It's salmon spawning season right now here in Washington state, so I've got my eyes open looking for salmon. It's pretty crazy when they come through. There's so many, it almost looks like you could walk across the river on the fish. And they're, by the time they get upstream, they're pretty vibrant colored and their heads, their faces are kind of gnarly looking real sharply beaked. They're no longer that nice bullet shape from when they lived in the ocean. They've, uh, they're, they're so impacted by the natural process of their spawning that they've become almost a different creature. It's pretty fascinating. And then in, in the last stages, they're rotting. They're kind of falling apart as they get to their final destination, their spawning ground where they were born. It's pretty interesting, something to see. bit of a hazy day today, a little bit of fire smoke in the air. Wildfires from California mainly and Oregon as well. But you can see, I hope you can see from the video, how red the light is today. The haze in the air is really 
giving everything a red cast, the reflections on the water are almost pink. Should make painting pretty interesting. This beautiful suspension bridge is on the Middle Fork Trail. It's a large parking lot at the trailhead. I think I found a nice scene to paint. Let me show you. I don't know if it's coming out in the video, but the sunlight today is really red from the wildfire smoke that's in the air. I don't think the air quality is too bad. The smoke is pretty high, but it's definitely giving things a kind of neat red cast. Kind of interesting, giving everything kind of a warmth. So I want to paint these. I think these are birch trees standing in front of the rapids on the river. I'm going to paint those little rapids with that hint of red. At least I'm going to try to if I can get to it quickly enough. But I think I'm also going to introduce some of this darker green. Over here you can see where the river's in the shade. How it's a darker green. I think that'll give a nice contrast and should be a little easier for me to paint. I want to get this mossy, rocky slope coming in at kind of a diagonal. And then I'll just pick a few of those trees. I, I don't think I'll paint that whole copse. I don't think I'll paint all those trees. It'll be too busy. But maybe one or two against that river rushing in the background. And then I'll just hint at, suggest at the woods and the mountain in the distance. So I'll get set up. As always, thanks so much for joining me. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. What are you doing? I'm gonna do a painting. I'm just getting started. Nice. Thank you. All right, I've got a light sketch on the panel. It's an eight by 10. Just a few trees and the river, the trees in the background and the mountain in the far distance. As usual, I'll start with a turpentine wash that gives me a nice dynamic way to stain the panel, get rid of the white of the panel, and also set in some of the tonal values. So in the scene today, as I mentioned before, I see a lot of red. There's a lot of red because of the haze in the air, so I'm gonna use a kind of a cad red burnt sienna underpainting. All right, I'm using a nice big bristle brush for this initial wash. I use artist turpentine heavily dilute the paint with turpentine and just kind of scrub it in and get a tonal value across the panel. And then I'll erase out the lightest lights to get a value study.
Now I'll step back and I'll have a little cup of coffee and let that turpentine wash set up just a little bit. When that paint dries just a little and it dries quickly with the turpentine, then I can wipe out the lighter values and darken some of the darker values. And then I can go immediately over the top with the true color of the paint I'm seeing in the scene. And it really helps that underpainting kind of grabs the paint off the brush and lets it lay down quickly. If you try to paint, at least for me, even if I'm using straight, out, straight paint out of the tube or if I add a little bit of liquid or something, if I try to paint oils outdoors, especially when it's a little warm out, right onto the panel or onto the canvas, it's kind of slippery and it moves around and it doesn't stick. It can be kind of frustrating. I really like this turpentine wash underpainting. We mixed up a few colors, a little, I've mixed up a slightly off-white reddish tone for the sky. The sky is the lightest value so it's almost pure white. And then a little bit of a grayish blue and a grayish green for that distant mountain. And I'll just quickly lay those in, not a lot of detail.
Okay, I've mixed up some paints for that middle ground copse of trees. I'm going to start with the darkest values first, so the shadows in the trees. You can see the the darkest value is the shadow in the trees. The lightest value is the highlights on the trunks of the trees. So I'm just going to work from dark to light and from base to what's on the base. So in other words, the leaves are on the branches. So I wanna, if I want to paint branches, I want to paint the branches first and then paint the leaves on top of that. And especially if I'm painting something lighter on top of something darker, it's hard to paint dark over light. It's a little easier to paint light over dark. The light is changing, the sun is setting, so I need to kind of go by memory. Also, I have a res reference photo on my phone to check values, but not really color. The phone doesn't do a great job catching color. Um, so I'll do my best to move quickly and, and get this done before the light gets too different. It's always a challenge. What I have are a few colors mixed up now for these rocks in the river and some green for the river water and I'll just leave the white of the panel for the river foam where the rapids are going over the stones and it's that really light almost pink color I'm just gonna leave the, the white of the panel for now and probably finish that part of it up in the studio later
So I hope you can see here how the underpainting is really helping me. Those kind of random marks that I made, I can build on those and treat them like they are, kind of the structure of a value study, and add shadow to the dark areas and add some lighter color to the lighter areas, and not paint over everything, just enough to create an illusion. It takes practice, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I do love it when it works. Alright, well I got done. I had a great day out here on the Middle Fork Snoqualmie River. Beautiful area. Beautiful evening. Let me show you the painting. Here's where it ended up. It needs a little adjustment. I'll take it back to the studio and work on this bank of rocks. It's very rough right now. But I got the colors that I see in the scene down which is the most important thing when I'm doing these 
plein air sketches. I want to capture the feel of the place and the local color and try to add play with the composition a little bit. I do like the composition in this one. I like how these few trees are kind of giving a strong vertical element, dark element there, kind of mirrored by that copse of trees in the distance. This could be a little higher value, a little lighter and a little bit cooler in the mountains as well. I could shove those back just a little bit. I think it would help with the illusion. So a little bit of adjustment in the studio. I'll play with it a little bit more and put it out on the internet. Thanks for spending the afternoon with me. I really enjoyed doing the painting. I hope you enjoyed being here with me. As always, if you like these videos, please share with your friends and like and subscribe. And I'll see you out on the trail.